According to the Executive Director of Uganda National Examinations Board, Mr. Dano Dong, the 770 candidates failed because of their inability to understand questions and their complete ignorance of the subject matter. Some of these candidates did not carry out the dissection, which is a very essential task, a very essential skill in biology. So the specimens that were provided for them were left intact. But they had drawings in their scripts meaning that they memorized drawings from textbooks and they reproduced this instead of doing exactly what the examination had required them to do. Dr. Dong revealed that 67,815 candidates qualified for university entry after attaining the required two principal passes, adding that a candidate would require only one principal pass and two subsidiary passes to qualify for the technical colleges and the other institutions of higher learning. He noted that fewer candidates were registered in northern Uganda, West Nile, Terego, Nakapriprit, Buvuma, and Moroto due to higher levels of poverty. State Minister for Education John Chrysostom Muyingo attributed the poor performance of absenteeism and advised those who did not qualify for university admission to join technical colleges and other institutions that offer technical skills for a better future. While the attraction of university education appears to remain strong, I wish to appeal to our younger people to consider taking advantage of the opportunities, many opportunities available in other tertiary institutions outside the universities. While in an exclusive interaction with our reporter, education consultant Dr. Asman Katerega advised Ministry of Education to enact policies that, that would encourage schools to register more candidates rather than having fewer candidates or not one at all. After COVID, they had lost interest. Some students lost interest, some students lost morale, and it really affected uh, the education system. So you, that's why you see that uh, some policies also need to be changed. For example, uh, one of the policies that UNEP puts up is you cannot, you cannot have a centre number for a level if you have less than 10 students. So if I have less than 10, if I have five students in a level, I cannot, students cannot sit from my what? From my centre number. Or oh, I have to pay more. Dr. Asman Katerega also noted that poverty and the effects of COVID-19 were to blame for the poor performance index in the northern region. He advised government to subsidize education and provide more incentives to teachers so to improve on learning in schools. I think we need to come up with a strategy. We need to come up with a, a way of doing things, especially when it comes to in incentives. Hmm? If, for example, teachers are not teaching well, especially in those areas in northern Uganda, we should look at what can we come up with, especially what can we come up with that can help entice these teachers go and teach in those what? In those areas. Samuel Chirimunda compiled this story.